honestly by the time hasbro is completely done with us we'll probably be selling our jizz for extra money and yes i did say selling your own jizz and not your own children because those are too ugly nobody wants those they kind of look like you but just you know smaller versions i would have also made a joke about you potentially selling your identity but your credit score is lower than my self-esteem so that's not gonna work either and i know exactly what you guys are thinking this dude has completely lost it he's gone off the rails his intro has nothing to do with the actual video but you are mistaken because this entire intro just wraps in perfectly with what we're going to talk about today and honestly not really talk too much it's more of just a random rant about the situation with hasbro and look i'm not going to give you guys an entire breakdown of the newest hasbro marvel legends live stream because it seems like there are probably another 100 bigger channels than mine that have already dissected it and have already gone into uh, extensive detail when it comes down to that live stream and i hate making content that has already been beaten to death uh, I do it from time to time, but from the most, for the most part, I like to stay away from doing that. So I'm not going to break down the entire live stream, but what I will say, or what I did want to conversate about was this Odin action figure. And by the way, before we get into the Odin figure, I wanted to kind of backtrack uh, something that I said a few weeks ago, and I made an entire video about it. Now, granted, the Marvel Legends newest MCU Carnage action figure from uh, Let There Be Carnage was released or revealed i believe like maybe a month ago and then eventually went up for pre-order if i'm not mistaken last week well it depends on when you're watching the video or when i decide to upload it but let's just say that's in the past somewhere and i did make an entire video complaining about why this particular figure was going for 40 dollars. i felt like the value wasn't there and even looking at some of the images it makes me want to puke like if this was my child I would give it up for adoption it's ugly it's kind of lanky in certain areas i don't love the arms and the legs it looks a little bit thin for my taste and maybe it's screen accurate i didn't put it side by side with a film shot but it just doesn't feel right to me especially with the tendrils sticking out it doesn't really display as well as i would have hoped and i prefer these type of tendrils on like a smaller carnage like a six inch comic book based carnage hopefully we get that in the future but i'm getting lost i'm rambling it is ugly i'm not picking it up but i will backtrack on it not being worth 40 dollars in terms of the size i wasn't fully aware that this was over eight inches it does kind of tower over the venom and if i'm not mistaken that particular venom was almost like build a figure size if i remember correctly which i don't usually do it's supposed to be about seven inches and the carnage does look much bigger and just bulkier than that particular figure so i do take back the whole 40 dollar price point it does seem like somewhat adequate even though like i said it's really ugly it looks kind of weird especially the way that it was posed on the live stream but it is what it is i do think that there is some value just because of the movable tendrils and things of the nature i really didn't know the size of it at the time that i made the video i might have read a brief description about it being a certain size but it, it didn't really sit with me or it didn't really resonate until i was able to see it on the live stream so granted i'm not going to take everything back that i said i think it's still really ugly but the price point is much more reasonable considering it is like i said over eight inches now now that definitely wasn't the main topic or the main uh, conversation that i wanted to have in today's video i wanted to talk about this odin 85th year anniversary marvel legends now when they first revealed this i was pretty impressed uh, i'll be honest i wouldn't say like my jaw dropped to the floor or my nips got hard or i was running around my room screaming like a madman not to that extent but it was really impressive i mean it was a, a really big bulky figure with some great sculpt work great accessories i love the armor piece a couple of extra hands they also threw in a couple of phenomenal weapon accessories the head sculpt and the face portrait also look really well done it looked all around like a very easy purchase for all of us that are big marvel legend collectors but then i saw the pre-order price point for this particular figure and you're looking at 60 dollars now i have a tiny little reptilian brain i know there will be people out there especially in the comment section or just out in the community that will say hey 60 dollars for this particular figure that's really not that bad and they're going to point out some new accessories or some new features that the figure may may or may not have but 
let's be brutally honest this is a completely new price point we've never received a figure at least a singular figure that i can think of at this scale for this particular price point point. and as i said earlier there will be people defending this particular figure just because of the amount of accessories that it does come with the two weapons the two head pieces the two bird accessories and then four hands total that is way more than we expect from most deluxe action figures and by the way i'll give you guys examples of just a few action figures that we've received what in the last maybe like five to six years that are deluxe style action figures and like i said let's just leave the accessories aside for a split second because most of these deluxe figures don't usually come with that many accessories but let's just assume that we're doing a one for one ratio we just received or i should shouldn't say just received but a few years ago we did get that monster venom deluxe action figure and if i'm not mistaken we were paying about 30 dollars for that action figure it was technically a re-release of that original symbiote wave bath but still you were only paying 30 dollars for this figure then eventually we would receive a target exclusive marvel legends red hulk which also came with a couple of extra hands he filled out the packaging incredibly well and same thing that figure was going for 29.99 was a store exclusive very difficult to find didn't have a wide release and usually those tend to be higher in price but hasbro decided to still keep it at that 30 dollar price point and for those hardcore collectors that literally spend their entire days sniffing hasbro's cheeks and kissing the floor that they walk on and may say well angel here's the thing that was pre-pandemic that was before people were fighting over hand sanitizer and toilet paper and at one point almost shooting each other for pokemon cards and disgusting animals as prime drinks well here's the thing i'll give you guys some more modern examples because yes those two figures are from a few years ago but if you guys want some more modern examples well i'll give you guys one what about that marvel legends deluxe thanos that got released i want to say maybe like two to three years ago that one also had a 30 dollar price point and it also came with some extra accessories there were four hands total and then two different head sculpts and it was very difficult to gauge how big this particular odin action figure is but if i had to take a guess i would say that it's very similar in size and girth to this particular thanos and if your buns are not yet buttered from the examples that i gave you there are still a few more the marvel legends deluxe toxin which is essentially a reuse of that monster venom deluxe action figure was also retelling for 29.99 even some of the older fan channel exclusives like for example that gray marvel legends retro carded gray hulk was also originally retelling for 34.99 even though it came in that extra white shipper box we also received the apocalypse Apocalypse deluxe action figure and this one if i'm not mistaken came with an extra head sculpt and then four hands total as well so this to me at least on the surface appears closer to what hasbro did with the nba starting lineup action figure line that they released a couple of years ago they essentially released the figures originally for 49.99 they probably got quite a few pre-orders in and then finally when they felt comfortable enough they decided to drop the price to almost 40 percent off i believe I believe they dropped it to 29.99 shortly thereafter it was a huge hit i think to the community especially to the collectors that have that had originally bought the action figures at 49.99 and now had to either return those figures and try repurchasing them or they could just bite the bullet and pay an extra 20 dollars for some great action figures i thought it was a really dirty move from hasbro and i don't know why i'm getting those same feelings from this particular release there's no reason for odin to be 60 dollars even if you wanted to adjust it to some of the newer price points for deluxe action figures i still think the 40 dollar price point uh, makes a lot more sense it's just way more reasonable for collectors it's on par with what we've been seeing in terms of price hikes but this at least in my personal opinion seems like hasbro is hoping that at least a few hundred if not a few thousand collectors decide to pick this up at 60 dollars and i would not be shocked to see this figure eventually drop exponentially in price but that's just my personal opinion my personal perspective on this entire situation 
I feel like Hasbro is really overreaching when it comes down to this Odin action figure. I could be wrong, but that's what these videos are for. Dialoguing, having conversations with the community. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, stay tuned because we do upload a bunch of random action figure content. So if you guys are into this kind of stuff, definitely stick around. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the hobby. And I will see you guys in the next one.